Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a Google Form in Spreadsheet to collect email addresses of your students and period numbers so that you can add them into your Canvas course by section. There are easier ways to do this if you don't need uh, sections within your course, you don't need period 1, period 2, period 3, all within the same course, then I would re recommend um, using the self-enrollment code, which you can click on right there to find out how to use that. Uh, but if you do need the section functionality, or if you want to see the names that the students will start out with in your Canvas course, and make sure that those are appropriate, this is the way to do it. If you're ready to get started, you want to make sure you log into Canvas and select the course that you want to add students in. Okay, so I've logged in. I've selected the correct course that I want to add students to. And now I'm going to go to Settings. When you go over to Settings, click on Sections. If you teach more than one period of a particular course, you'll probably want to add sections for each period that you teach. The advantage of doing this is that when you add content to your course, you only have to add it once. You don't have to copy it from one course to another. But what you want to do here is add a new section. Um, let's say I teach this particular course periods one and three. So I'm going to add two sections. I'll just call them period one, add, and then period three, add. And notice now I have my two sections here. Now what I'm going to need to do is add users to these sections, mainly students. So to do that, I'm going to need their email addresses. You want to make sure you are in the Canvas Community Created Resource Forum and you're at this post. And in this post right here, I have a link to a pre made Google Form and spreadsheet. So I want you to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to ask you if you want to make a new copy of this document. You want to see yes. All right, when you get into the spreadsheet, it, look, it should look like this. It should have uh, three names. These are uh, Avengers. They're not going to be in your class, don't worry. Uh, and if you notice, their period is all nine. Uh, for just demonstration purposes, I'm going to change the period numbers uh, to make them non-sequential because I'll show you how to short, uh, sort them. So let's say this is three and this is five. Uh, what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to give your students a link to fill out this form and then all their email addresses will uh, appear right here as they fill out the form and then we'll go to sheet two and it will have everything formatted for you in the way that Canvas likes. So to get the link to the form, you want to click up here in the uh, top menu that says form and then go to live form. Here's what the live form looks like. The students will fill this out, they'll hit submit, and then all the answers will go into that spreadsheet. So what you need to do is copy this URL. If you click on the lock button up here, it should highlight the whole thing. Uh, you can hold down Control C or Command C on an Apple and copy it. And then, um, what I usually do is I go to a URL shortener and I shorten that URL. If you go back to this uh, spreadsheet here, uh, there's the link to uh, the bit.ly URL shortener. So if you were to uh, click go to that link, you'll get something like this. And uh, up here by the fish, you just paste that link in there and that's control V or command V on, on an Apple and then it makes a short URL for you you can hit copy that copies it to your clipboard and then you're good to go so now you've got the URL to to give your kids 
Um, another thing that you can do is um, paste that URL into your window to, to check it. Yeah, and it works. I'm going to paste it again, but now this time I'm going to put a .qr after the URL. And when you do that, you get a, a QR code. And uh, you could print a couple of these out, have it on your projector screen. And the first day of class, if you wanted to, you can have kids uh, download a scan app. and Or just they can search their app store for a QR reader. They can scan these, and it'll take them right to the form. And they can fill that out on their phone. And within less than five minutes, you can have all their email addresses and, and have Canvas send the invites out to uh, them to join your class. So the way that you can um, utilize this is you can usually right click on these and you can save the image or you can copy the image, put it in a document, print it out, whatever you want to do. So that's like a, a, a neat tip that uh, will save you time. And if not everybody in your class has a phone, um, I've found that usually uh, almost every student does and then uh, it takes so little time for this form to be filled out um, that usually there's uh, uh, a few students that are willing to share with their neighbor and everybody can get it done very fast. So we've given the URL to our students. They've filled it out. All the results are going to be in the sheet. Now I only have three just for this example, um, but if you had more there would, there would be more here. What you want to do now is um, you want to sort the sheet by period number. And notice there's there's arrows up here. So if I click on this arrow right here uh, by period, it, it changes color and I click on it, I can get this drop down menu and it says sort A through Z. And I do that and notice they're all sorted by period number now. Now what you want to do is click down here to sheet two and notice everything sorted in sheet two. And so what I would do here is I would go ahead and uh, copy all my period twos and again use control C or um, command C for copy and then I would paste them into canvas. So let's say um, I'm just going to copy all of these even though they're in different periods just to show you. Oh. So I'm going to highlight there we go. Those three. I'm going to copy them. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to I'm going to go to Canvas. I'm going to make sure I'm logged in and I'm in the course that I want to import my students into. Uh, once you know that, you click on People right here. It's kind of hard to see. It's grayed out, but you can click on it. And uh, notice there's all sorts of weird characters in here. But I want to. You probably won't have any, um, but I want to add some people. So I'm going to hit Add People, and then I'm going to paste them in here. And uh, what's their role? They are students, and what period are they in? Uh, pick the period that they belong to. Let's say they're in period three. And then I hit Next. It goes ahead and verifies everything. It looks like everything's OK. There's no mistakes. And then basically I'll hit add users. And uh, they're enrolled. They just got an email invitation from uh, Instructure Canvas. And the email address is notifications at instructure.com. Uh, the email has instructions with a link for them to click on so that they can um, make an account in Canvas if they don't already have one. And they can join your class. So. If you need to resend it, you can resend it. Um, you can edit the sections the user is in, uh, or you can remove the user from the course. So hopefully that helps. Um, what you would want to do from that point out is um, repeat it, go back to people, uh, add more people, put them in the correct section, and so on. And then uh, if you have another course, you can go up to your, your course menu uh, select your other course and follow the same process over again. And hopefully in no time at all you should have your students uh, signed up 
and they'll accept the regist registration or invitation and you can get going.